<laughs> things like that. Dweeble. Um, people have done uh, webinars, but they call them Twebinars on Twitter. So it, the list just keeps going on and on and on. But uh, I'm going to show you some of the, the more uh, things that are, that are highly visible and some of the lingo that helps you get started using Twitter. It's quirky. <laughs> Twitter seems like it goes down all the time if you try to use Twitter. Even if you're trying to update your account, the thing may go down. Um, this is the message that you get if there's a problem with Twitter, <laughs> which is these little birds carrying a, a whale. And uh, they call that the fail whale. Uh, so I, I think it's gotten a lot better now. And one of the, the arguments that the Twitter people have kind of said is that they haven't monetized it yet because they're still working out the kinks of everything. And there will be days, especially between 9 to 5, that you'll get frustrated with it because you can't post something or you can't read something or you can't send something, and then you get this message. 2007, Twitter experienced approximately 98% uptime. That's six days of full downtime. You know, if you guys have a website, just think about how frustrating that would be if you had a website that was down six days. So getting started. Now this is basic stuff, but you know I think it's important to, to show this. Um, these are the actual steps. So I took this yesterday, so there shouldn't be any surprises when you go and do this. Um, so creating an account, you, you click on this Get Started uh, Join button, um, and you're going to start entering some information. Most importantly is going to be your username. And you should have a username that will uh, be representative of your company. And uh, I would say for the leather dry cleaning, I would, I would kind of keep it generic. You know, you could either use the name of your company or I would say like leather dry cleaning or something to that effect. Um, Hilton, I hope, has <laughs> the Hilton one already, you know. Um, but uh, if, I'm going to just pick on, on Hilton's brand for just a second. Um, let's say that to spin it off, it's just not about the hotels, maybe it's PR. They could pick something like Hilton PR because they want to communicate with other media specialists that are out there, okay? Commonly, if you're going to use this for business, you're going to pick your business name, but don't be surprised if it's not there. The reason why picking the username is so important is that this is going to be public on the web. So people will be able to enter in twitter.com forward slash whatever the username that you picked is. You can change it once you're in the account. So if you want to change it, that's great, but the, the faster you can solidify the name that you want, the better. It's kind of like picking a domain name. You can see if your friends are on Twitter, uh, it uses Gmail, uh, Yahoo, and AOL. Um, I didn't do this step, and I didn't do it when I set up our TMA account either. Um, I think it's relatively easy to find your friends because a lot of them aren't going to be there, and I think that communicating with other professionals is what I'm using it for. I use Facebook for the other one. Choose to follow. They give you some defaults uh, that you can follow. Um, I just skipped this step, but if you want, you can follow some people that are already using it. That was the last step, and then you get into your actual account. So at this point, you have to manually click on these links and configure your account. And so those are all the tabs that are up at the top. Um, select your time zone. That date stamps your tweet so people can actually read when the tweet was actually done. Write an effective bio and don't forget to add the URL to your main website. Um, your URL goes right here and you only have uh, this box to type in your bio and you only have 160 characters. Um, think about this before you go ahead and put it in. In my case, um, I'm kind of the, the head of strategy for our company. So I write my bio that, you know, Christian Del Monte is, you know, head of strategy and provides resources and information on these following subjects for TMA marketing. Okay. So if it is for the company, you should probably have that information. My favorite way to do it is that I like to have a face along with the account, kind of like Scott Monte did. It's got the face and it's got some branding in the background. I think that's important to add. Is the face better than your company logo? I think so. But that's also what a lot of companies do is they use their logo. 
you know, I think the distinction is is how personable you're going to be. If it's for deals and offers and things like that, I think a logo is okay. But if it's you're actually talking to people, I think it's cool to have your face on there. So, and that's, you know, if you've never done that before, it's kind of weird to have your face out there. <laughs> you know, what if people don't like you? Uh, so it, that's one strategy I didn't put up there, but some companies prefer that just their employees have Twitter accounts and, you know, that they just can't say anything negatively about the company. Um, there is an advantage with that because uh, companies that do that, especially in the, you know, youth scene, they think it's a more desirable company to work for because these people are advocates of the company and that kind of thing. Um, but... I'm going to just pick a name out of the hat, like Pioneer Press, for example, may have, may have several columnists that are doing Twitter. And so they would have the branding in the background for Pioneer Press, and then, you know, you'd have the name like uh, Don Papatola or something like that, you know, or Dominic Papatola, I think, is his name. Um, add your phone with caution. Um, your phone number, uh, a lot of people don't understand this step, okay? So if you add your mobile phone, don't be worried that you're going to get a gazillion messages, but messages that you do get are using text messages. So if you don't have text messages set up on your phone, you might be getting astronomical rates. Okay, so that's the first step. You know, make sure you check into that. Second thing is, is that um, you can post your tweets via text messages, and that's the useful application. And you can set this up so that all you're getting is direct messages, so it's not typical updates that people are sending you. You'll see more about that here in a little bit. If you have a smartphone, the, you don't even need to do this, because if you have a smartphone like a BlackBerry or an iPhone or something like that, there are applications out there that will help you use this. These are notices. I think at first, I would leave these on, um, at least the email, um, when somebody starts following you. But as you grow and you get like, you know, sometimes you could have 100 followers in a day. You don't want 100 emails coming to your, your email account. It gets a little frustrating after a while. Um, but at first, uh, I would have it on. And the reason is, is that if you see somebody following you, to find them, you can just follow them back by clicking on their, their link and finding who the person is and, and follow them if you want to. Um, it also has a, an option there for direct text, uh, direct message emails. Uh, I'm going to explain the differences between all these in here in just a second. And then lastly, it's got an auto nudge feature so that it will send a text to your phone if you haven't done anything in the last 24 hours. Like we don't have a life, right? <laughs> uh, uploading the picture. Get the biggest picture you can, a square. It reduces it down to 48 by 48 pixels. So try to get the biggest square image you can that's up to 700 kilobytes. Um, the reason why that's important is when people use desktop applications, they'll actually be able to see a bigger picture than you. So it's not just the little, the little square. They'll actually see a better picture. So if it's lousy, it'll be lousy. Um, the more professional you can make it, uh, the easier it is to obtain new followers and retain others. There are software programs out there that allow you to um, auto-follow people when they follow you um, so that you just automatically follow them back and they'll set parameters on there so if they see that you have a default avatar which is uh, if you didn't change the picture it has just a default picture that's there it will it'll tell those people not to follow you back. 